Okay, welcome everybody. Ah, deck hands came out, so that means it's time to see which deck hands to get and which one is the best of them all. Today, I'm gonna be making a tier list, you know, giving my opinions on what I think might be the best, right? So we have a tier list, <laughs> very budget tier list here, because uh, we don't really have any symbols for our uh, deck hands. So we're just gonna go with titles for now. That should be fine. And then we'll look over at the wiki, which it has listed all of the professions. We'll just go over what it does and then I'll rank it according to its ability and how often we might use it, right? So that's how we'll rank it by tier. <clears throat> Anyways, so moving on for Canneers. Like this one? Oh my god, everybody loves this, probably would love it, right? Like, okay, the rookie one, it gives 10% cannon, mortar, reload speed, right? It's only reload speed, which doesn't sound like much until you go to the master rank, right? It gives 50% cannon, right? Reload speed and fuse length now. Uh, and it only gives you fuse length, like negative fuse length. That's basically how fast your cannon is going to fire, right? You only get it when it's skilled, it, right? So, it's fine. I mean, it's good. But let's look at the last tier. It's 50% faster reload speed and 65% negative, right? Fuse length. So, it means you're probably going to be firing like every 2 seconds or so if you have this ability on, right? So... For players, you'll probably destroy them instantly if you have Dragonfire Cannons. So this is really good for combat, even for PvE, right? Just going into Dark Sea, traveling around, you'll probably need this to protect yourself. So I think I want to rank, right? Let me go back to the paint, the tier list, right? I think I want to rank it, mm, it's either between A or S tier for me. Because S tier is where you like, you must have it, right? And we do have four options. Uh, do I not have cannoneers? I didn't have cannoneers. I will be back. Let me make it real quick. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> I got the cannoneer ready. So, I'm thinking A or S, right? Just because as long as you don't get in combat, you don't really need this. But if you do have it, it's like really good. But I feel like everybody will need this since ship combat is like, it's most of the game really. I want to rank it S maybe. We can move it around maybe, priority wise. It's probably something you must have. I feel like I'll put it on S. I'll leave it alone right for now. And then we can move it forward once we like rank everybody else, right? Because right now everybody's cluttered up at S so it looks kind of weird, right? <laughs> But, okay, now Cannoneers, probably S, just because you'll need it in general, right? Even if you don't fight, but it's for that chance that you'll probably fight, right? So, anyways, next we have Navigator for the wiki, right? Um, it didn't look like much at first though, like I went to the wiki just so I can learn a little bit more, right? But it says increased ship speed and gives 100% resilience while activate did right um okay wait okay 100% resilient that's like the wind how much like speed you'll get when you're turn going against the wind right so that's fine I mean not really important that's like that's the part that where I like I'm like eh, whatever right it doesn't look that interesting but it did say can be used to escape a whirlpool if activated when caught in one so that's really good because you guys know how it is if you've been traveling around, you most likely have ran into an invisible whirlpool. So that's nice, you know, in general, right? But now moving on to ability, right? Over here, it says shift speed. And I'm 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 really I'm not I'm really into shift speed, really. I really like shift speed. And I think most people would because it's how you travel around for basically 75% of the game, right? Which I feel like this would be like really high up in the tier. Maybe better than Cannoneers, right? Because you'll, you'll be using this constantly. Especially at Master tier. 
20% speed, right? Because let's just say we have 100% speed, we'll easily get to 120% speed. Or I mean, 120 speed, right? If we have 100 sales speed, right? And like, I'm pretty sure th it doesn't say the cooldown, but the cooldown for this thing is like 20 seconds, it feels like. I don't know, I can't tell you guys since I'm not on Roblox right now, but it has a short cooldown. So that means you can spam this. Now, we can try to rank it. I don't know if you guys could guess what I'm gonna rank it, but... I wanna say it's better than Cannoneers, right? For Navigator, right? It's, I'm gonna leave it at S, right? Where it's slaughtered right now actually would be perfect. So, I feel like it's actually much better than Cannoneers, right? Navigator. I'll move it around, you know, so you guys can see where it is. And the Cannoneer, I'll probably downgrade it to A for now, right? Because I feel like compared to Navigator, right? They don't they don't belong on the same tier. Since Navigator, you're gonna use it way more than Cannoneers, right? So, I'm gonna lower the tier a little bit, right? Just because I don't feel like they belong on the same rank. Since, like, the usage for Navigator is just, you know, way more consistent than Cannoneer. So, yeah, that's my reasoning for that. Um, now let's move to shipbuilder. Ooh. Also, guys, there there are the materials, but let's ignore the materials, right? Because materials, they're not crazy, right? Like, all of these are easy to get. Besides, uh, maybe notebook, right? Where's notebook? Notebook. You need notebooks for enchanter, right? It doesn't list it, but. You need a lot of like recipe for chef, right? You need a lot of like spices, not important. J pros are easy to get, right? So I'm gonna ignore those for now. We're just gonna look at the abilities. We're not gonna look at the cost, since most of them are not too crazy. Maybe I don't know. Anyways, let's move to ship builder. All right. Um, his ability is maintenance, and it says any source of ship repair, see gains a bonus. While activate did repairs ship by a small amount upon activation. Yeah, you know, very good, very good. So it required for maximum, right? It gets 33% bonus. So I believe if we have 50% boost, right? 50% HP recover when we smack with a bronze hammer. I think we'll get like what about like maybe 70 health instead. And it also repairs your ship by 5%, which is like, it's free, completely free. The problem is this thing is like a 5 minute cooldown or something. The cooldown is pretty long. Which, I mean like, his only use is gonna be in a dark sea, you know what I mean guys? Like, you're gonna have to repair a lot in dark sea, so this is really good for dark sea. But like, in general, right, you're probably not gonna be spamming this too much, right? It's probably good in combat. Well, maybe not in combat, right? When you're out of combat, because you can't repair, right? In combat, so I don't know. It feels like maybe like mm, I don't know. It feels the same as the cannoneer, right? It doesn't feel that good because I feel I I want to put it on S just because of like oh wow we can get like the free repairs, but we could do that by destroying ship in the bronzy, right? Like, if you go around, you see ships all the time. If you just destroy any of them, you get like a quarter, one third of your HP or something. I forgot, but you can just get your repair that way instead of the ship builder. So, I don't know. It doesn't feel very useful, right? Like, there are some benefits with free repairs. Like, the only really good benefit is with Darkseid, right? So, um... I, I don't know, I, I don't know, uh, I'm thinking of A guys, cause I, shipbuilder, navigator, I don't know, well, you're not gonna be spamming shipbuilder all the time, so, I don't know, it might be like maybe below cannon, I wanna say below cannon here, cause if you're gonna get in combat, most of the time you're gonna take damage in combat anyways, right, and you'll probably use shipbuilder to repair, but if you can kill your opponent faster, it would be much better than repair because if you kill your opponent, you get the repair anyways, right? Like, so having shipbuilder is just like a bonus, right? You don't need shipbuilder, but 
should feel it's like a bonus you know like it, it's there like you don't really need it like can air is probably better right you don't need shit filter but for dark sea expedition you'll probably need like all three of them really like what what we have like ranked it so far right so yeah maybe like an a minus for now and then like can is like an a right i don't know if we're gonna get an a pods right so yeah um we leave it there for now and we can go back to the next one yeah um now we have enchanter enchanter i believe requires seawater and notebook it doesn't list it but i don't know exactly how many though guys so i can't really tell you right <laughs> his ability right enchanter or her maybe is charm it gives the ship damage resistant from all source while activate heals crew upon activation which Okay, heals Kuro is fine, because it doesn't really heal yourself, right, I think? I don't know, I can't confirm it, maybe? But I don't see it healing myself, right, the player, that much, but... Resistant-wise, ooh... Okay, I, I, I think maybe this is just like, you negate a certain percent of damage? I'm not sure what resistant means exactly, but let's just assume it's like... You know, percentage damage reduced, right? Like at maximum, you just get 30% damage resistant, right? It will do... The enemy will do 30% less, basically. And then your crew will get repaired or healed up by 20%, which is... And it's fine, like, whatever. You don't really need crew HP, really. So... It's not a big of a deal, but damage resistant is really good for combat. It means you can tank through like most of your opponent's attack, right? It, in a way, it kind of counters cannoneers, right? If they fire fast enough, but you're just like tanking it. So that's really good, but I think like we're only ever gonna use it in combat, right? Only in combat. So I don't know. Mm. Like, protection-wise, it's good, but I don't feel like it's better than Cannoneers, so I'm just thinking it's either better than Shipbuilder, right? Let's look at the tier list again. So, it could be better than Shipbuilder, I don't know. Since... Mm, but if you do go into the Dark Sea, Shipbuilder has more uses, right? And damage resistance is good. You do get- you could use it to reduce, like, the wave tsunami, white, right? while bracing but you can't really predict if like a lightning bolt is gonna hit you or something right so i want to say maybe like it's below shipbuilder right enchanter so maybe like a b just because it's only ever gonna be used it in combat right like in dark sea you might as well just get a shipbuilder right like i don't see a reason why you would need you know, Enchanter in Dark Sea over Shipbuilder, right? So, I mean, unless you're hunting like the Alatian Briggs, right? Whatever, right? So, I would put that at B. Maybe if I change my mind, I'll let you guys know. You know, feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys think as well. But for now, I'll leave it at B. I don't know if we're gonna put anything at E or D. But let's see, right? Um, So, Anyways, and now we move to Chef. Okay, let me forget. I almost forgot to switch the screen for you guys, right? So we move to Chef. This passive is cooking. Automatically cooks any fish your crew catch into meals with seasoning depending on their tier, profession tier. So this would actually be a debuff, guys, because I'm not really too familiar with Chef, but you know, it explains, it says it automatically cooks everything that you get from your crew. So let's say if you get a legendary fish, right? It's gonna cook it and you'll get one legendary scale. So you actually get a debuff. Getting chef profession is actually a debuff. Like we're not even looking at like the master rank and stuff because all they do is cook with seasoning for that fish you just caught. They don't put in any other ingredient, so you're only going to get one single ingredient, which means that it's going to be bad. The meal is not going to be very good. So, 
you know, like, I don't see a reason why you would use Chef at all, actually. So it means it's really bad. Like, if you let your legendary fish rot, you'll get actually two legendary scale. So, cooking it is a debuff. Since I was talking about it earlier, so now I'm just explaining it. Hopefully not conf too confusing, guys. But, this is actually a debuff. Maybe, like, I can see this really good for, like, maybe noobs. Like, hey, if you're just starting, you don't have food, right? You don't make food, because a lot of, like, new players don't make food, so... That's the only use. I don't see any uses beyond, like, you know, being a new player and you need some food, right? Yeah, uh, but... Wow. Chef is actually really bad. What, what do we put? Where do we put it? Do we just go, like, E? Like, Ruthless? Like, it's a debuff, guys. This is a debuff. Like, we're, we're getting, like, nerf. We're, we're getting, like... You know, we're gonna, you know, like, God, like, Chef is a debuff, guys, um, but yeah, let me know, let me know what you guys think, because, like, Chef, I don't think it's good at all, right, and let me go back to tier list, I didn't show you guys it, I'm gonna, I put it at E, because D is, like, not good, C is average, right, it's fine, whatever, you could have it if you want, right, but, I don't know, maybe it's like a D, but I put it at E, because why not? <laughs> we need somebody to diss on, basically. So, you know, Lamau, trash. Um, Now, we have the last one. It's called the Merchant. So, the Merchant, it says, sells 2 to 8 random chest items depending on their profession tier, and can buy items from you in exchange for a Galleon. So, it's a working shop. Like the random NPC you find in like the water, right? All the time, like you guys know the merchants, you see it all the time, right? <clears throat> it's like that, but except with random chess item. So I don't really know exactly how it works, but I'm assuming you can get like the clover, right? The whatever Prometheus, like something, right? You guys know what it is, right? I don't know. I hopefully, it's the one that lets you stat reset, right? That ingredient. So, potentially, you could buy that, right? And maybe like Dark Sea Essence, whatever, the thing that lets you make Aura Potion. You know, those those are really expensive ingredients from chess. But it doesn't really exact, exactly say like how rare they are. I assume it's also 1 in 3000, right? For the merchant to get something good, right? So... It's not exactly the best. You might as well open up two to eight random chests, right? If you're gonna buy something. So I don't see it being very useful, right? Maybe if they sell multiple of them, right? Um, like it's fine, right? Cause it doesn't really give you modifier. I'm pretty sure, right? Let me know if I'm wrong or if I made a mistake, guys. Cause I don't know how merchant work. Since it's too complicated, it's like a different system on its own. I'm pretty sure they don't sell modified gear, since you need to use charger chart to find those, right? So, I mean, like, you could have this if you want, really, but... Um, I don't know where I want to put it on the tier. It's not really a debuff or anything, right? Like, maybe you would want something over this, right? Mm, actually, guys, because you could sell your Galleons, right? It could be good in Darkseid, because if you can sell stuff to the merchant for Galleons, that means you can get money back, right? Because you're going to be looting anyways. It means you're going to get loot, blah, 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 so on, right? The merchant is going to let you sell all the stuff, get Galleons, repair. So in Darkseid, it's actually not bad. And I know the merchant actually restocks, right? It will restock. So... That means it's not bad, it's, it's like, maybe C, right? It's average. Average. Like, it's fine. But Chef... It's like debuff, right? Um, so... I guess the best thing we're gonna have, right? In general use, right? Overall usage-wise. Navigator, the best. Canyon, Shipbuilder, right? Probably is a must-have. Navigator, Canyon, Shipbuilder is a must-have, right? And then everything else, you guys can choose. Not chef though, maybe chef. I don't know. You you guys can go crazy if you want. Um, 
But yeah, I mean like, I guess the four deckhands everybody would probably go for would be Navigator, Cannoneer, Shipbuilder, and Enchanter, right? But yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say guys. I would be stalling if I kept going, so I'll just end the video here. Let me know if you guys have other opinions, right? In the comments. And I don't know. Change my mind, basically. And I'll see you guys next video or something. Goodbye. Bye-bye.